Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. It is Angela <clears throat> and it's Sewing Notion Sunday. And if you're not familiar, Sewing Notion Sunday is a, a collaboration hosted, an open collaboration. Anybody can play along. Uh, Marnell at Mimi, Mimi's Keepsake is one of the participants. So look for her videos and check out her channel. Um, but it's an open collaboration that I host and it's just about using sewing notions, creating ephemera that have to do with sewing and such, and all the fun around it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here for a while, welcome back. And today I want to give a shout out to a couple of special people, to Kathleen at Amelia B's Crafting Adventures, and to Heather at Antique Agenda, both of which have channels that you should, sh that you should check out. Uh, Kathleen has Amelia Bees. Uh, she does a lot of DIY and craft projects, so check her out. And then, uh, my friend Heather at Antiques Agenda is a reseller, and she has some, she has just such a beautifully unique, uh, style and just collects some really, really cool things. So check her out. Um, you won't want to miss what she, what she cultivates as well. And let's see, by now I've announced that she and I, she and I being Heather at Antique Agenda, will be doing a sale on Thursday, February 9th, which will be, I think, probably the first hard goods sale that I do. So come check it out, see what we're up to. But today we are concentrating on... Let's see, when was the last one that I did? On last Saturday, on the 21st, I did an, um, <clears throat> I went through my unfinished ephemera box and we were working on, here it is. And it was just getting, I like having this here because then if I'm working on something ad hoc, I can just pick something out of here and embellish it, <clears throat> add to it, and then I've got my piece. But, I needed some things for specific journals, one being my sewing notion slash fashion journal, and then the other being my uh, cooking journal. Well, guess what? I did my video last Saturday and I created all of this. This I did all off camera. Then I decided I should do a video. So we did all of these together. Yeah, there's this one, <laughs> one sewing one, and that's, I think, about it. So what I decided to do, it is the same day in which I'm filming this video, so I already have a mess out. So what I did was I put everything that was flowers, butterflies, mushies, uh, anything botanical, I put it all away. And then I just focused on the things that were sewing related. So let me show you what we got out. I think I have about eight different items here that I thought we could embellish. One thing I noticed when I went through, um, oh, that was, oh, the last Sewing Notion Sunday when we went through the fashion box, that <clears throat> I don't have a lot of, <coughs> excuse me, journal cards. So I picked out things I could use for journal cards to make for this. So that's what we're going to do. So I've got these. I've got all these precious little lighties. So those are up here that we might be using. Then I have the only um, sticker pad, which these are a pain because you have to cut them out and then take them off. But there are, I think there were a few, I thought I put a yeah, paper clip on things that might be appropriate for us to use for this project. So I have one thing of stickers. I have a bunch of, well, this is kind of backing that we mean, and we'll put that over here. And so is that. But I found some old Sears and Roebuck pages. I've got some embossed pages that we did together. I've got a little bit of wallpaper that's embossed. We've got sewing patterns, sewing um, directions. And then, and I know you guys haven't seen this yet, so be watching for this video where I do where I go through a whole bunch of funness. Funness, that's what I'm going to call it today. But this is from 1963, so there's some advertisements for... I thought this was like 
an advertisement for red wine. It wasn't. It was for ladies' blouses, skirts, short sets, and uh, shirts, mint, and men's straw hats. So, yeah, Red Wines was the name of it. And then we have Rowden's Clothing and then Nylon Hose. I do not understand this. High Honor First Quality Non-Run Seamless Nylon ho Hose. Buy one pair and receive one pair free. Water Hose, 50 feet, only 98 cents. Okay, <laughs> if you're a 60s girl or a guy that knows, what the heck does that mean? And then it talks about plastic roller protectors. Okay, that kind of could relate. And white tricot panties. So maybe the, this, oh, this is at the variety store. So the special was the hose. And then all of these other things are things you could buy. <laughs> I get it now. I get it. I was like, what? They shouldn't have led with that. Like, don't say nylon hose, but if you want water hose, I don't know. But then there's this big one and their pages. I mean, I only took part of it, um, are huge. Like this is about the size of a page now, but this was half of the size of the page. They were ginormous. And this is um, Save at Carps Dollar Days. And so there's all kinds of fun little things that we can cut out. So I got that and that, and then I've got a stack of pretty much just like fashion. And these are the ones that we did on the typewriter and things that I think might work. So we got those. And then I've got a pack of embellish or pack, a stack of embellishments. More Sears and Roebuck will put you over there. So I pulled some of Tim Holtz people. I found these, uh, this, oh gosh, who is that? Now I'm going to forget her name, forget the name of it. This, to my knowledge, is out of business now, but I sometimes find them occasionally. I had some of my own and I sometimes find them at thrift shops, but I love, gosh, what is the name of it here? I have it right here. If I don't fall off my chair. If you ever see these, I just think they're brilliant. Um, I have one page left that I'm more, Melody Ross, designer collection, the homespun collection. And oh, I love her stuff. And she does all kinds of cool things, did all kinds of cool things, but to my knowledge, that is no more. But I found a couple of them that I pulled out. Like I said, some Tim Holtz people. I've got some um, Ticket-esque pieces that are fashionably fashionable. Um, look at her. Like, those are very trending right now. Those swimsuits from, I think that would be the 50s. I would probably wear that. I mean, I think it's really cute. Although I'm short, so I'd probably look horrible on me. Um, but, you know. Um, at this day in the game, do I really care? As long as my husband thinks it's cute and I like it and it's comfortable, it's going to have to be. So then I have these little ladies that I got. And then there's a couple of these that came um, that were from the other pack that I have. Um, I don't know why that's in there from the last project. More little chimmy people. I had a couple of little kids. But these young ladies, I think, look very fashionable. So I thought maybe we may use them. And then I dug through my ephemera because I thought, you know, let's get to it. So I went through all of them and got, like, you know, just some... These are just copies from one of those places that sell bulk stuff for really inexpensive prices. So I have those. And then I have... I thought she's cute. I probably should know who this is, but I don't. This I found in there. I thought, well, maybe we can use those. If not, this needs to be a project in and of itself. And then that's it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So I don't want to start with this one. This is, um, we did this project. We experimented with stencils and used all of the Tim Holtz different variety, the crazing, the, um, the different kind of texture pastes and such. And so I have this one, which I thought would be cute to do as a background. Um, kind of like it's the wallpaper. And then somebody, I don't know. It might not work because these are, 
pretty little, but maybe we can make it work. I feel like it needs to be have something substantial. I've got this little plaid glassine bag. These are all from uh, master boards that I did. I have this piece that we did. And for some reason, I did this, but it did not turn out. So it was just in there. But I think we can make it cute. See, I didn't get the edges of it. This is with my Martha Stewart punch that was one of my dusted off do-overs. And then this one was crazing, which I know you can't really see. Maybe you can a little bit. Um, but that was another process that we did. And then I have this one that we never used, but it does say Retail Credit Men's Association. So that's what we're going with. So what shall we do? I feel like I want to start with this one because I kind of like it. And... I didn't give myself a lot of space, a lot of space. Okay. And I like these little lighties. If you can hear Dave, he's bonding with Ruby and keeping her busy while I'm doing my video. That's the one thing I do have to say about that texture. One of the, I don't know which one it was, but it's flaky, Jakey. So I'm not sure that I'm loving it. I mean, I did that probably a couple months ago. I don't know. I feel like we should make this kind of like a sewing pattern-esque. Well, th that doesn't really... She's more like seven days-ish. Oh, look at them going to the pate. That's cute. Oh, I love her too. But this is more 50s. This is more like... Could be 20s to 40s. So we won't use her. That was a way later. Way later. She's very sassy. All right, let's just work with those those four. So what I was, well, I wasn't really thinking actually, but I know this is kind of an awkward sew sewing notion Sunday because we're really not using actual sewing notions, if you will, but I'm creating things to use in my sewing journal. So I'm justifying it as being sewing notion Sunday. Um... Let's use this. Let's see. There's that one. I just want a little piece for background. This one will work. Let's just take a piece off of here. Okay, but I'm going to do it right here because I don't want to ruin these little girls. <laughs> so we'll just take it. That'll work. automobile coats because everybody needs a driving coat to go with your driving gloves. Do any of you wear driving gloves? I do not. All right, I kind of think I want this not jankety because, you know, we're going for elegance. Elegance on the So what if, because we kind of want them to have a place to land, if you will. I always like to do threes. But this is not a very big bag. I kind of like her better. So there are three on there. So we'll just go with the fact that. I think we need to move this down. Put them there. Hmm. I'm not loving it. Well, at this rate, girls and boys, we won't get very far. How about we put something else underneath it? Let's see. And here, we'll make this more of the 
All right, I said I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to anyway. That Well, that didn't help me. <laughs> Okay, so that will be kind of the branding, if you will. And then we'll put them down here so we can kind of see that because it's pretty. And then we need something to bind this. So, well, we got this because it's... Oh. All right, that's it. It's perfect size and it will just make it work. It's a scrap. All right, so what we're going to do is put... And I don't know if you noticed in my last video when I did the other uh, scrap busters when I worked out of my unfinished box, <clears throat> I did not use, not once, did I use glue stick because the only thing that I think glue stick is good for when I'm working on these projects is to reinforce stickers and or washi um, just for these projects because I'm working with so many different textures on the bases that it just like for this if I use a glue stick on that I will be putting it back down so and I I mean the ones that I have now the one I'm using right now is I've got two <clears throat> I like scotch create but I have all of these that I need to use um <clears throat> they work just as well <clears throat> but none of them actually really uh, hold when you're working on all this like stuff. I mean, that's just my experience. Uh, I've done a lot of journals and in the aftermath, many years or months later, when you look at them or, well, that's not getting inked, um, or open them, they don't always hold their own. So, therefore, I'm using Art Glitter Glue. Yes, it's more expensive. Yes, it is. Um, it sticks faster. Oh, this is going to be one of those. You know, the thing that you could do with this, this is the one thing I do not like about these, is you can see the back, you know, because they're kind of translucent. See, now... Her face looks like she's got writing on it. I hate that. But, I mean, the thing that I could do if I really, really wanted it to be white is I could pull this back, glue it in a couple little spots, and put it back on its backing. But, and nobody got time for that. <clears throat> Well, so maybe somebody does. I do not have time for that. <laughs> okay. See, their heads are going to be in the... But it's okay. I got to use these. And then, let's see if we have a word we can use. What's the word? I've had... um the chili on all day and I'm gonna tell you I am hungry hungry these are from pink monarch prints isn't she lovely I was in here before my the video started and Dave is literally on the other side of the door watching football and I was singing and I was really trying to annoy him and he's like please tell me you're not live or on a video and I'm like no <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my subscribers I'll do it to you but I'm not gonna do it to them uh, I thought it was comical he, on the other hand, did not. Once in a while, if I'm, like, questioning, oh, gosh, did that go as well as I 
had hoped it, you know, if I'm just double, if I'm second guessing myself, I'll have him read. That's cute. Okay. We got one done. Um, my video before I put it out, I will have him watch it, which he, he's a trooper. He does it. All right, you guys. All right. <laughs> I've lost all of my bases. And it's all about the base, Megan Trainer says. Um, and he does watch them for me because I'm like, I just need, you know, just need somebody to check it. I'm sure he's going, really? You could find somebody else to do this. Okay, this is pretty busy. So what if we kind of... We don't want it to say children's because, but these young ladies. I like them. We're just going to kind of rip them. Oh, I have to tell you what I found when I was searching for this video. I found in one of the, um, Let's see, when was that? 1963. Uh, newspapers that I was, I only kept like two or three of them. And I don't know, oh, I kept them because there were some 4-H things and some things I thought would be cute for a farm journal. And as I was going through it, no, it won't work there, but it will work on this bigger one. Um... I'm flipping through the pages because I thought, oh, maybe there's some fashion stuff I can pop out of here. There is a whole spread of Shirley Temple stuff. So now I have more stuff for my Shirley Temple journal, and I'm so excited. Uh, although, uh, you know, I have those antique, well, I don't think they'd be antique yet. She, she wasn't that old. So I guess still vintage. Um, Shirley Temple magazines and books and now I can add that but I, I can't cut those up I just can't do it is anybody else besides me like that like there's just something about vintage some vintage ephemera that it just it won't happen I can't I can't cut it up and I and I I do not judge anyone who wants to. I think if that's what your prerogative is, then you just do it. Um, but I look at it and I'm like, oh, like I I could read these for days and look at the picture. Dave and and it's even fun because Dave makes it fun, especially when there's something that is uh, interesting to him and to watch him when I find a a book or something that's. interesting. I'm just going to make her go all the way over there. This girl looks like Lady Diana. Not going to lie. I'm going to show you. Does she not? Can you see her? She does. Okay, we're going to make her them kind of go off. Like, she's going to lose her arm, but that's okay. So, yeah, whenever I get antique pieces, I, I try my very best um, and I do, I mean, I have no problem selling them to others, but, um, you know, a lot of times I will go through my ephemera. I will make digitals of those that are, you know, I'm able to, ones that don't have a copyright. And, um, then I might keep them for a while and I do this thing like, okay, if I haven't used it, I haven't, um, made more digitals with it. I haven't decided it's okay to cut up. Then it's not, then it needs to go to a new home. That's just the way it is. All right. I'm going to leave that just like it is because if in the book, we may want to add something to it. So, you know, we don't need to go overboard. Okay. Let's come back to this one. I kind of feel like this could be something with the wedding dresses. Now, the interesting thing is, what I think we will do, 
we're gonna find the perfect bride. And then I'm gonna do something different, which might take a second, because I'm gonna have to, no. Um, oh my God, I love her, but she's too, she's too tiny, I think. I'm kind of like, okay, let's just go with it. Stop overthinking it. Here's what we're going to do with her. Let's see if we have... We are going to place her on a backdrop. Do I have any scrap? Any scrap scrap? Let's put her on this. Because this will rectify the issue that I have with it being see-through. Now, here's what Angela does not like to do, which all of you already know. If you've been watching for any time, any amount of time, you know I hate fussy cutting. But I'm taking one for the team. See, now that looks much better. And we are going to do what is called kiss cutting. So I'm kind of just following where the sticker actually was. <clears throat> kiss cutting is not fussy cutting. Kiss cutting is going with just a little border all the way around, just kissing the sides of the edges. And it makes it easy when you do something like this because you already got the sticker. So this is your stop complaining, Angela, and do this because it will solve the problem. And, you know, kiss cutting is way much easier than, to me, fussy cutting. Like, I don't know. Um, I had, we're having, I've mentioned this before, but at the venue, we are having um, a ladies' night. And the gal that's having it won it at our softball. We had a softball auction. And I had planned to do it at... No. Uh, I had planned to do it at... In, De in December. And then Dave got sick and that didn't happen. So we're going to add a little lace behind this. So I said, can we reschedule? So we just reconnected and kind of talked about it a little bit. And she said, do you know how to make chunky blankets? So those are the ones you make with your hands, right? Now, can I make a chunky blanket? The answer is yes. I have made one before. Do I want to do, do I want to teach other people how to make a chunky blanket? Absolutely not. Because um, one of my girlfriends, um, she would come and teach um, that class. And she did our one of our women's retreats. And she taught it. So I was like, uh, mm, no, I just, I mean, I, with my hands, it's fine, but I just, I don't, if you don't do something like all the time, I think it would be hard. Uh, can I teach somebody how to sew? Yes. Could I teach somebody how to cross stitch? Yes. Could I teach somebody how to knit? Uh, no. Crochet? Negative. Tat? Absolutely not. But I sure admire those people who can. My, you've heard me say it many, many times. One of my favorite people in the whole wide world is my grandma Mo, and she taught me to sew. She did all my prom dresses. I would design them. She quilted all of her life. Uh, st well, she's still quilting, and she is nine, going to be ninety-four in April, and I. I just don't have, have it in me. <laughs> she did, however, make me tear out many a seam when I was doing, um, I did fashion review and, 
you know, just sewing for 4-H. For so, there's that. But that's how you learn, right? This is cute. There's always a way to wear... And I even like, there's always a way to wear fun. And I like even that it's got the dot and dashes all the way across it. We're putting it on there. Oh, and this even says tiny pieces together. Yeah, that was, I had so much fun creating my prom dresses. I did not ink that. Oh, well. Okay, there's another one done. How many minutes are we at? 30 minutes. We've only done three things. All right. Let's do another one. I want to do, I want to do this. What shall we do? I feel like, and I want to do something with these. So we're putting them up there. Oh, what about these? And these we could color. And they kind of blend in-ish. Ooh, I like them. And I like that. Those are kids. It's a possibility. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. I think a doily and I think, oh, maybe, you know, working in the kitchen, creating dinner. So let's see if we can focus on that and find somebody maybe with another apron or a, we got children over here. Not that we couldn't have a child in it. That, I don't, that one looks weird. She is cute. Okay, I like her better than this one. And I'm thinking this would be cute to put in the <clears throat> cookbook journal. She's a little fancy for working in the kitchen. She looks like she's in her dressing gown. We use her. Okay. We got it. <clears throat> Making a mess. <clears throat> I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, oh my goodness. I was, Dave's like, are you going to be okay? And I'm like, I don't know. <clears throat> but I think it was just... I don't know if it's allergies. I don't know. One never knows. Okay, we need something in the back. I like that, the words ladies jacket, so I don't want to ruin it. <clears throat> what I think will happen is this will then... This piece, the doily, will go on top of something else when we put it in a journal. Okay, we're doing it. And then it will give it a little more depth. But I don't know where that's going to be yet, so we're just going to do the basics. And that... Oh, poo... This is wallpaper, by the way. So sometimes it, the ink doesn't work that well. Now, are these stickers? For some reason I thought they were. I don't know, so we're gonna try it. I may ruin them. I'm gonna take this off from the last time. I think we'll do this one and then we'll try to do one with those girls. Huh. 
<clears throat> they must not be stickers. <clears throat> Let me take a sip. Sorry. All right, let's go ahead and zhuzh them. And glue them. And then we'll make them pretty. And I'm not going to put any embellishments like words or whatever on it because I don't know how I'm going to use it in one of the journals. I'm so excited to start the sewing journal. I'm really excited to start a fashion journal. It's my... I thought I wanted to be in a uh, fashion design major. I decided, decided very qu quickly I didn't want to take a chance that I wouldn't be able to um, live in New York or somewhere in Paris <clears throat> and would go broke. <laughs> so, thanks to Mo, I decided that... Uh, I would fulfill my other passion, and that was travel, and that's what I did. So, now I'm doing it through journaling, and we're just doing a little fashion fun. Okay, what color should we do? The one thing I don't like to do in these is do really, um, like, primary colors, because it just doesn't tend to work well, at least with the watercolors. So I'm just grabbing these out so they're handy and I don't have to hold this bucket. Where's my paint? Oh, they're there. Okay. So let's make... I want to see what this is going to look like on here. What if I hate it? Well, if I hate it, I hate it. We're going to start with her pocket. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we'll just be painting or coloring her in. And these are watercolor markers. So if I wanted, I could, you know, dip these in some... water and actually really add some contrast. But for the sake of this video, because I still want to do those little fashion girls and boys. See, I'm not the only one blowing my nose and sneezing and such. Okay. I feel like I want to do, this is not going to show up though. I should have done that first. So it looks like she has a little, actually that's not bad. Now it kind of looks like she's got like a feed sack pattern. My favorite. Shall we do her, oh, is that the color I use? No, that's like neon. I use this one. Okay, she's cute. Now let's do her in a blue. Do I have a powdery blue? Yes, sort of. But with her, I think what we're going to do is only... We're going to do this. Because that front part is her apron. So I think we should keep her apron white. And this is like a crinoline or something underneath it. I'm making stuff up, you know. I don't know if it's a crinoline, but it's something. I 
I think we're just going to leave the rest of her like she is. She's got black shoes. She doesn't have a color of shoes. I think I'm going to leave her alone. Okay. Look how she's, they're popping on there now. And then we can add all the details when we add it to a page. Okay. Last one. Okay, this is not what I was thinking for. I mean, she blends in there. Oh, ooh, what about this? Okay, we can do... See what I'm saying about that stuff? That They also blend in there. Or we could do her... Do them... On here. Yeah, that's what we will do. Let's get them. I'm going to use this different. My favorite. I feel like I need to get more ink on my... And I know I've been asked this before. Why do you never re-ink? The reason is because I use re-inker on my actual... Um, oh, she needs to be cut out right there. I use my reinker right on my daubers and it gets really nice and juicy and it works much quicker and I don't have to bore you with reinking every time. I I don't want to do that to you. So that's what I do. But this one this one sits this way so it gets more dry quicker. These are very fragile, by the way. <laughs> I think what we're going to do is layer this up and put some... Because this is already crinkly. It feels so good. Um, I'm just going to kind of do her head, I think. See, I didn't go in between her legs. And I'm not going to. Okay, let's just do it. And do we want to add let's see what can we find? I think we just want to do like I do have a ruffle, but it's in it's packed in the sewing notion kit that I could add at a later date. We're just going to pop this on. Now, I normally do not put my tissue on with our glitter glue, but I'm going to today. I will cut this off either when we're, well, let's just, I don't think I have any glue down there. off the I'm trying to go out of my comfort zone and leave some of those strings on there but oh, it's hard for me it's really hard you know hmm here's what I think I'm gonna do with these girls I'm gonna put her here I'm going to put her over here. I'll do another string of this. And I'm going to cut them down the middle. And then, because these would make great belly bands. And then um, I'll sew again. Because I just think this is really wide. And it's probably, unless it's, unless it's in one of my binder journals, it's probably not going to fit ideally on a page. So why not make it into two journal pieces. Now, I don't think I want to do anything with these lovelies except for get them on the page because I don't know A, what it's going to look like once I cut it down and B, you know, if I want to add sentiments or whatnot, I want to do that later. 
Um, this, for this, I'm going to put her. And this I am going to use. I hope to goodness it sticks. <clears throat> up here. All right. And then we will be done. Well, I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. When it's filled with a little crafting in your day. And that everybody is happy, healthy, doing well. Their families are doing well. I just, I watched a couple videos today where some of my friends weren't doing so hot. Or their families weren't. And it just, ugh, it made me, made my tummy hurt. So... Sending up my, all my blessings, all of my prayers. Look at me. I'm getting crazy. This is... We're just doing it. I can always shore this up later. See, now I can sew this again. And I'll have two belly bands. And then we can add some sentiments. And that will be totes adorbs. Totes adorbs. Well, thank you, friends, for hanging out with me, for playing around and doing a little sewing, not so much notions, um, play so we can get ready to do a sewing notion journal. Until next time, friends, remember to take time to just be and know that I appreciate every single one of you every single day. We'll see you next time. Cheers.